50 years that you guys uh, grew up together. Yeah. So was it, did it make it more comfortable doing this movie with her? Of course, it's wonderful to work with your oldest friend. And uh, yeah, we've, we've worked together for years since, but I think that bond and the fact that we trust each other to really push each other and and go into places that you wouldn't necessarily go with anyone else. No, it's just a lovely family feeling. And for our viewers that haven't watched the movie, what can they expect? And tell us a little bit about the synopsis. So it's a, the film is about um, a, a, a mother and a daughter. It's about a middle-aged uh, daughter who's an artist who takes her elderly mother uh, away for a weekend to celebrate her 75th birthday. But it's really about something that I think we can all relate to. It's about how do you prepare for your mother departing? How do you, how do you prepare? I don't know. I mean, I still don't know, but you know, no, but we do, we want to think about it because you know, a little bit of preparation is not a bad thing. So, but it's a ghost story. So it's set in this very kind of Gothic swirling mist sort of environment, a little bit like an old go ghost story from a, from a book. And um, yeah, it's just a little fable about a mother and a daughter and, uh, and how to survive things. And you know, the Toronto International Film Festival is one of the biggest festivals in the world. What's your favorite part of, about you know, meeting fans, being a part of it? That is my favorite part of Toronto. To be honest with you, I love Toronto for that reason. It's really the people's festival. It really feels like the audience owns it. And, you know, other film festivals, which are glorious in other ways, are very often kind of industry affairs and they're very much run by the people who make the films and the people who write film criticism. But it feels to me like this is where you really meet fans. Yeah. And fans make films. I mean, fans make films have a real buzz about them. So it's a nice feeling meeting, meeting people who are, gonna, who are kind of up for stuff they've never seen before. You know, I created my platform to inspire, to uplift. I have an inspirational show and I like to talk about, you know, celebrities' paths to success, not just celebrities, but anybody. So I want to ask you, you know, if you can name three things that have made you successful, what would you say they were? Have made you successful? Oh, well, if by successful, I'm not quite, I think one person successful is someone else is something else. For me, successful means happy. Yeah. I'm really happy and I'm very grateful to say that I've been happy for a very long time and I think identifying early on what makes me happy and then sticking to it yeah. which is specifically being around people who I feel really comfortable with who I feel free with and particularly in my work people that I really love and who I want to see every day. I want to see when we go on a world tour with a film and we wake up in the morning in a, in a hotel and we are down having breakfast. Those are the people I want to work with. So I think knowing what makes you happy and not being afraid to stick with it and, uh, and enjoy it, enjoy being happy. And don't think that just because, you know, the only way to be what you call successful is to be up against it and for things to be hard. I don't, I'm, I mean, there are other people who would disagree, but, but I think life's short. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.